Hey guys, thank you for joining me. Today is an exciting day, it's the first day of summer. So that is going to allow us to first of all, harvest our crops. We were able to squeeze in the couple right before the end of spring. So we can harvest a couple of cabbages here. And who doesn't love a cabbage? Also, more importantly, because it's a new season that also has provided us with a new chapter quest. And as you can see in the right top, we need to do two more quests for our neighbors. And then we will actually get a reward, and that reward is quite substantial in this case. Because it will allow us, let me show you that real quick, to increase our building's limit from 5 to 10. And we will then be officially called a small farm. Right now, we have one villager, and she's basically hunting. But we also want to get a woodshed, and more storage, and possibly a farm, and things like that. So, first things first... Let's make sure that she has enough food. She has some dry meat here. Some roasted meat. It isn't a lot, but it should be okay for now. Um, I'm going to drop some stuff off here first. I don't need the seeds on me right now. That is, I don't need... Well, let's keep the log... Oat ale I will sell eventually. Got some sticks and some stones, that's fine. We're fine here. So, Also, by the way, I've noticed that if you have certain items, you can see here that it's it's a good place to store them in the resource storage. If it's not a good place, um, I'm not sure if I have something like this, then it will show that it should be going to another storage, in this case the food storage, which we have on our agenda to build today, hopefully. But what we're going to do first of all, we're going to do some quests. The thing is, is that we have to do two more quests for our neighbors. But if we do uh, Alwyn's story and we go talk to Nadar, that will actually count as well. So what I'm going to do right now is we're going to make a long run all the way to Rolnica here. And we're going to talk to Nadar. And he's going to give us a follow-up quest. And that will complete that uh, requirement of three quests. I'll catch you guys in Rolnica. I've spotted something on the side of the road. Looks like a, a derelict cart. Water skin, always handy. A stone knife. Oh, leather. Is there anything else? Maybe a little bit distant away from the cart itself. Uh, I don't see anything so quick. No. All right, we have arrived in Rolnica. Yeah? It was a little bit of a journey. Let me highlight the quest. So we can actually see where Nader is. It's pretty close by here. Probably in this this barn here. There he is. Yes, we're checking up on that ride delivery. And uh, let's see what's going on. He sent one of his workers with a parcel. Something must have gone wrong. Great. Well... We're going to find out what happened to that uh, courier, I guess. As you can see, it completed quest 2 out of 3. Uh, I'm thinking maybe I could sell some stuff to him while I'm here. How have you been? Only goods of the Copper Spears. It, it's cool, but yeah, I'd rather sell it, to be honest. Let's sell the feathers off. Let's sell the eel off. Oh, here, you can get it free. Um... Oh, that's fine for now. Take care. Okay. So now on the map, there's a little area highlighted as to where that courier potentially could be. So now we have to run all the way back again. And I want to kind of hurry with that because I don't want to get this all done before it gets dark. So off we go. So we're right in the middle of it. Um, I've done this quest before, so I kind of know where he is. Um, but first I'm looking for an abandoned bandit camp. At least... I've never encountered a bandit here before. So hopefully that will always be the case. And we can pick up some goodies there, including this wonderful bow. There's two arrows. I believe that it's always the same items that lay here. So we some fur, some leather. A copper knife, some more leather. Um, what else is here again? We got the iron axe. There's a lot more damage than your stone axe, of course. 
the question really is, do you want to use it or do you want to sell it? I usually sell it off. Firewood we don't need to carry. We can make that ourselves. Or well, soon enough at least. So that's good. Now we're going to go find the courier. And he's not that easy to find because he kind of blends in in the rocks there. There he's sitting. He's not in great shape, is he? Damn, you're bleeding a lot. That's motivating guy. Yep, he got attacked. Take the parcel if you want, just please get some help. Take this, it should help with the pain. Oh, nice. Get 10 rep for that. Good thing we had some uh, plantain on us. Broadleaf plantain. Okay. All right, we're back in town. We're looking for Nadar. I think he might still be in that same barn. Uh, yes, we found out the wounded man. He wounded man. He's been attacked and needs help. I give him some medicine. Great. Uh, now, if we allow him to keep the coins. That will actually give us more reputation bonus. Uh, I'm not worried about that. I, I'd rather have... Now let's do the reputation. Let's keep... There you go. So you get 150 instead of the normal 100. I do see that this does not count for the, the other chapter quest though. It did only count for the beginning, the first part. Mm. All right, while we're here, How have you been? Only let's see if there's anything that we can pick up that we can sow in the summer. There is a spring. As far as I know, it's only cabbage that you can, can really do. Uh, how much is the weight on that? Let's keep an eye on this. Probably want to buy 20 or something. Ah, oh, that doesn't weigh anything. Uh, does he have anything else interesting? Mm, fertilizer, but that is heavier, isn't it? Yeah, that's heavier. Now we'll buy that in uh, the other town. All right, so not, nothing more from him. There's three people here. We can have a male, we can recruit a male, I should say, if he has good stats. Oh, that is actually pretty good. Because we have one house, but a male and a female can live together. Hello. Yes. Oh, he's already very excited. So let's assign him to that same house. This is our house with the blue icon, so I'm going to assign him there. Stogomia. Uh, he should have everything available. Water, food, firewood. Should all be okay. Yeah, he should be fine. Okay. Now, let's assign him. Um, actually, well, temporarily, I can assign him as a hunter, I think. I believe the hunting lodge has two spots. Yep, there we go. Okay, perfect. Yeah. So let's see if the, the, the icons on the left top are going to go disappearing. There they go. All right. Before we go to Kostovia, I will stop here. Because apparently my two villagers are out of food now right now. So I have to cook them a little batch up. We'll do that real quick. All right, let's put it in here. I'll just give them all the food, uh, water, they have wood, and there's also wood in the resource storage, so that is fine as well. Um, I got flatbread for myself. I might actually eat that right now. There we go. Okay. And then we're on our way to Gostovia again. Okay. Uh, where is she at? Somewhere over there. Is that her? 
I think it might be. Okay. Uh, here go my beautiful lady. Oh, she's married. So we will just joke that all aside. Well, we had uh, a few problems on the way. And I keep joking about... 200 coins, we can use that. Nice. That does complete the chapter story. So let me point that out right away. Now we can build up to 10 buildings. The other thing I wanted to point out is, is that the end of the year, as you know, um, if you have watched the previous episodes, is that we have to pay taxes. After the first season, the amount of taxes owed is 19 coins, 19.9. And after summer, that will go up, usually substantially, because you have more people and more buildings. And that's how they determine the taxes. Uh, we currently have a population of three. The other thing I wanted to show is the hunting lodge. Because we have now two people assigned. Um, let me see here. And it shows a total hunting skill of four. Because both people have a skill of two each. So it will show a total hunting skill of four. And it will basically, well, harvest, craft, produce accordingly. Now, the people will actually gain skill as they keep doing it. So that will go up and you produce more and more. And it's, it's fantastic. But right now we have two people assigned. But one of those I will actually assign to another job as soon as I have the buildings. We're going to get some pop-ups because some of the quests completed. I do want to talk to Alwyn, though. Uh, and he's somewhere over there. Okay, where's he at? Hey, man. So he has a problem with his water skin is leaking. Oh, that's no problem. We will help. Yes. And we have to bring it to a, a sewer to repair the water skin. No problem. Okay. It's quite a trip, though. That's all the way over here. So I'm not going to do it right now. Also, there's no exclamation marks here anymore. There's no quest that we can pick up that we can do in the meantime. You know, hunt some boars or chop some wood or anything like that. But that is fine. That gives us actually a chance to go back to our own little town. Oh, let's not forget I want the fertilizer. I hope he's not... Uh, it might be too late. Uh, let's look at the little icons. I think this might be him. Okay. I hope I'm in time. Let's get some fertilizer. Uh, let's take 30, I guess. But that is really, really heavy. Um, 20? It's okay, I guess. We have arrived back home. It's getting darker already. But um, if you play a three-day season, you don't have the luxury to really say, oh, I'm going to sleep the night away. So I usually use the night to either chop some trees, gather resources, or build some structures. And that's what I'm going to do right now. But first, we do have to eat something. So I'm going to start cooking a little bit. And let's have a look here, because we have cabbage, and I think we can make some sort of soup. Um, cabbage, salted meat, which we don't have. Cabbage, meat, and wooden bowl. And we don't, we don't have the recipe yet, because we don't have enough production yet. So we have to look at that technology. Let's have a look here. Building, survival, farming, production. And you get that from... Crafting items and cooking. Okay, that's not uh, that's not too bad. Especially when we uh, put down a workshop that's going to go really fast. All right. So the plan is, first of all, I'm going to build a woodshed right in this area here. Probably get rid of that tree, put a woodshed here. Uh, that's also why I picked up some extra straw at the river while I was drinking. Then, after that, I will very likely uh, either build a food storage or a house... And by then, very likely, the night is going to be over. We're almost done with the foundation. What do we need next? A whole bunch of logs, no problem. The great thing is, is that the woodshed doesn't really require a lot of resources. It's, uh, it's a really a quick build. 
Okay, so we have the woodshed ready. So the food storage is the opposite of the woodshed. It actually requires a lot of resources. The foundation itself is already 14 stone. And this is going to take a lot. It's uh, 10 logs and after that it's, it's quite a lot of work. Almost done with the food storage. Uh, we should have enough. So that is completed. And as you can see, those two structures, they took us all night to build. It was worth it, but I'm really thirsty. So let's get a drink first. There we go. Might as well take a bath while we're at it. Now my expectation is that... How far do we have to go in? Okay. That now since we built the food storage, that the hunter will hopefully drop his uh, meat and dried meat over there. That would be really nice. I'm actually going to check the hunting lodge because I can actually use some more meat myself. That's a decent supply there. So he has three stone knives. Oh, they, they, because we have two hunters right now. And in order for them to chop wood, they need a stone axe. And that is sticks and stones, if I'm not mistaken. Okay. I'll uh, make a couple of those and dump them in the box for them. And yes, you do not have to put the axes in here. You can put them in the resource uh, shed. And they will pick it up from there. But the big benefits of this is that you can actually see how many you have left. So let's say that you're on the road. You can go to management, go to your building. Which at? Open the details and there's a little box here. And it shows, hey, we still have four stone axes. We're good to go. Don't have to rush home. Now wait for the debuff in the left top corner. It's just a preference. Later on, I will dump everything in the resource shed because it's just too time consuming. Right now, it's still fine. And if I'm not mistaken, the lady is actually better at um, extraction than the guy. She has three. So we're going to assign her to the woodshed. Okay, so we have one hunter, one lumberjacker. Let's make sure we set it up properly. Okay, so focus on logs right now. Can I hold this down? Okay, perfect. Let's get it to 50 for now. Sticks, um, I'll, I can get those myself. Just get the, uh, maybe this, firewood. There's no resources showing, but she doesn't have the logs to work with. But that is perfectly fine. Let's do 20, and then we do 20 planks. Build up some firewood, because that's their top priority when it comes to uh, staying warm, especially with the colder seasons coming up. Okay, we also have some skills available. Skill points. Uh, survival knowledge. Uh, we already have this one. I like this one, actually. We hear the... Strong as an oak gives me more health, so let's put a point in that. I think I have another point available. Yep. On the crafting, I'll just keep working on that. Right, so that's max start, that is perfect. Oh, yes, we need to do some farming. Okay, all done. Perfect. Gonna put that quickly in the storage. Okay, so next up is gonna be building that other house. Alright, almost done with the frame. And then I wanna try something. Um, I'm not sure if it's smart right now, but I do wanna try to... get a stone wall going. It's gonna take... Normally a lot more time to do that, because you have to find all those stones.
but it is worth it because you use less firewood in the winter because it's better insulated. One for the roof. Let's see what options we have. Patch is straw. That's the one that we have. We have planks. Uh, I don't have the... Well, I do have the woodshed, so I can make planks. I'll probably go for that one. Let's do that. You have to do all the four segments of the roof for this. That is done. Well, done. So there's nothing you can do with attic. That's just two locks. Okay, great. It's going to take me a little while, but uh, I'm going to find a whole bunch of stone and start working on this. Right, we're almost done. It has finally been completed. I did notice that I forgot to upgrade these little segments here. So I could have upgraded them to stone as well, I think. And now it's just a water wall. I don't think it's going to affect the insulation too much, hopefully. It doesn't look bad, but yeah, it's just a little bit of annoying that I forgot about that. But yeah, this house looks really nice. Well, I'm not going to move in there. Normally you would say, well, that should, the best house should be for me. But then again, I'm hardly ever at home to begin with. What I'm going to do is I'm going to make a quick run to town. First, I have to take a, take a little bath. And see if there's anybody that I can recruit that is, has some really good numbers. Otherwise, I will very likely wait until the next morning. Okay, let's see what we got. Uh, Egbert. She has two in production. Uh, she actually has three in excavating, so that is really good. But for the rest, the values are pretty nah, mediocre. All right, we're going to recruit him if we can. We should have the rep for this. Great, see you there. Ah, yes, I have to fix uh, his food and water. Uh, should have got it then. She's also very good at excavating, so she can be another lumberjacker. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. No, I'm going to hold off on that. Alright guys, I'm going to leave it here. We made a lot of progress. Uh, built three buildings, new structures. And uh, we have a new couple of new villages. So hopefully you guys will join me in the next episode. Thank you for watching, and see you then. Bye-bye.